Hello there everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree and we are here today to discuss some products I just don't like. Fails, if you will. Um, I have just a handful of things, like literally a handful of things here that I want to talk about and just a couple reasonings why I don't like them. Um, I think I'm getting sick, if not already sick. I feel like I have a fever. I woke up in the middle of the night last night, um, like sweaty but cold. I had the chills, the body aches, this cough. I don't know where it came from. Um, I'm either sick or getting sick. I don't know. But anyway, let's talk about some products I don't like. First off, I just want to mention all of these liquid and cream blushes. I did talk about these in another video where I swatched all of them and talked about my experience with them. I just, I wish so bad that I liked these, but I don't. Like, the, some of these have a really beautiful shade, but I just don't like the way that they look. I don't like the way they kind of wear down your makeup, and I don't know. I just don't love them. If you have a better use for liquid blushes or how to apply them, let me know. Otherwise... I bought a bunch and I don't like any of them that much. Um, the next thing is a blush, a regular powder blush from Wet n Wild. It's called Nudist Society. This is what it looks like. So they redid their blushes. I don't like the packaging first off. I don't mind um, like little plastic compacts at all. I actually really like the ones that the in-studio stuff comes in. That's what I'm wearing today, blush, bronzer, and highlighter. Um, so I don't mind this little packaging, but I don't like this. I don't know what it is. So the wrapper, the plastic like sticker goes around here. So whenever you open it, it like crinkles and sounds so cheap. So you have to peel the whole sticker off because it's just like the, I hate the sound of it. Um, so not only that, I don't like the packaging. I don't know. It's just this flimsy little thing. Anyway, the shade looks like it'd be really pretty. I don't know if you can see all that sparkle that's in there. The sparkle is so noticeable and I don't mind like a sparkly blush or sparkle in my highlighter, my eyeshadow or anything like that. But the sparkle in this goes everywhere. You put it on and it's it's the only thing I see is the sparkleness. I don't see the blush, I see glitter. And it's not really glitter, I wanna say it's just sparkly and it's too much sparkle. It flies everywhere, it doesn't stay just where you put the blush. Um, there are definitely better glowy blushes out there and this is not one of them. I, I don't like this at all. Um, I like the shade, I wish I liked it, but I don't like that sparkle. Speaking of sparkle, I was going to do a separate video on these and I decided not to. Uh, this is the CoverGirl Instant Cheekbones. I have the shade Peach Perfect Perfection. I think I bought four of these because um, Emily Noel 83 of course loves these and talks about them all the time. She talks about them so much that I was like, you know what? I would love those. I want them all. So I bought four. I don't know if they have more shades or not. This is the one here that I'm going to talk about today though called Peach Perfection. This is what it looks like. So this one is also just sparkle city i don't know what it is because the blush here in the middle doesn't have any pigmentation it doesn't go on my face like a blush at all it goes on just sheer sparkle like it goes on like a highlighter it's really weird and then the highlighter shade that's in here also is very 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 sparkly and i don't know what it is because i don't see that in the pan but for some reason that's all i see on my face so trying to use the blush with the highlight it's just too much it's not pretty look. I just don't like this one. Um, I didn't like that one at all. One that I did like though was called Refined Rose. Particularly this blush here. I wore this, these two I don't like at all. These do nothing for me. Um, but this one here was really pretty. Nice pink. Like a... Not really like too deep of a pink. I just really like the shade. But I... These instant cheekbones don't do a lot for me. I have two other ones. One I haven't even opened because I was like, I'm not even going to use it. <clears throat> but I... I don't know, I just, I just don't, they don't have them as much pigmentation as I would want them to. That other one, like I was saying, has so much sparkle in it. It's just not, I don't know, I just don't like them. Um, another thing is the Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt Gel Mascara. I want to like this so bad. Maybe this should be products I want to like instead of fails. Because it's not like they're the worst things ever, it's just, I don't like them for one reason or another. Anyway... <clears throat> This is what it looks like here. It kind of looks like the Hourglass gel. It comes out pretty cleaned off. I really don't like this on bare eyebrows because I thought it would be nice to just do on days when I don't want to wear a lot of makeup and just put on my eyebrows and it kind of brushes them up. The thing with gels like this, especially when they have a color or a tint to them with fibers and stuff, is that I don't know if this has fibers or not, but it is just a really... Like it touches all your baby hairs and your skin. If you don't have a lot of natural brow hair like I do, this gets all over my skin and it dries really fast. So I have to grab a Q-tip immediately and then it smears and the smear is stuck there. 
and it touches all the little baby hairs, like those little fine ones that you don't really color in or anything. It'll, oh my God, my eyes are so red. I feel like I have a fever in my, like in my face, like in my eyes. I'm sorry if my eyes just are distracting. But um, it catches all the little baby hairs, makes them look just too crazy. It, like I said, it sets really fast and it almost like, like stick, sticks there and it doesn't move and I can't get it off. So I just haven't been able to find the best way to use this for me. It just makes a mess and I don't like the way my eyebrows look when I use it. So there's that. <clears throat> Another one is an eyeliner and I knew better. I knew better than to buy this. This is the L'Oreal Matte, um, oh my finger's itching. The L'Oreal Matte Signature Eyeliner. This is what it looks like. Just a really cool package. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try liquid liner again. I got the blue one because I thought, why not the blue one? I will swatch for you. There it is right there. It's a really nice, beautiful, I guess, cobalty kind of blue. The only thing with this, the reason I don't like it, so it does have this little flexible, it feels almost like, I don't know the difference between a brush tip and a felt tip because people always call brush tips the ones that I thought were felt tips. So I don't know which kind this is. I wanna say it's felt tip, but I don't know the difference. It's super, super, can you see how bendy it is? Um, I don't know if I could demonstrate this or not. Kinda, can you kinda see it? The tip is too bendy. So when I'm trying to put it, it moves really quickly, just the little bendy part. And I cannot get an even nice looking wing with this. Even me, a complete novice that has to go super slow and kinda do it over and over to get it to look nice. I can't get this to work for me. Um, it also isn't very, like, opaque. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but it's kind of like a thin formula and it's kind of uneven when you put it on. Like you have to go over and over and over it to get it to even out. And then when you go over it with another layer, it removes the one before it. It does dry down really quickly and it's matte. It stays there. It's a long wearing eyeliner. The wear time is wonderful with this, but I just don't like the application process. I don't like this little tip, bendy tip on the brush. And it's just, it's just not for me. Let me wipe this off my fingertip real quick. I guess these could be a uh, something I wish I liked, but I don't. The Garnier Micellar Eye Makeup Remover Pads. I think I mentioned these in another video, though, of products I just don't like or something. I don't know, fails maybe? Um, so I use these to remove swatches with because they're just too aggressive and hard for my eye area. Um, what else do we have? I have this foundation from Physicians Formula, the natural defense thing. This is what it looks like here. I really like the way this looks on my skin. It looks wonderful. I love the finish of this. It's not super matte. It's not super dewy. It just looks like a tinted moisturizer with a little bit of coverage to it. Has SPF 30. I like everything about this. It's in a pump, but it, it has a really strong scent. And it's not just a scent like it smells like sunscreen or it smells like um, alcohol, like maybe it just smells like the formula. It smells like perfume that they put in here on purpose and it is so strong, so strong. I tried to use this again today and I put it on. I was like, mm -mm, I can't do it. I had to wipe it off. Anytime I've used this, I love the way it looks, but I have a, it gives me a headache. It's so strong. It doesn't go away and I could smell it all freaking day on my face. Um, I wish I liked this more. I mean, I like everything else about it, but that fragrance is a no-go for me, like just a, a deal breaker. And then the last thing I want to mention is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh um, Cooling Glow Stick. I did mention this in that CoverGirl video that I did. Um, I don't like this either, and I've tried to use it since then so many times in different ways. It's a really pretty uh, like cream highlighter, and it is cooling. It does feel cooling as well, but it's... It, I don't like the way that this looks on my face. It dries down so fast. Whether you're using it from the stick with your fingers, with a brush or sponge or whatever, the first place you put it, it's gonna stay there and it's not gonna move, it's not gonna blend. I don't like this. I like the color and I wish it worked for me, but it just, it's so sticky and blotchy and it dries too quickly, it doesn't blend. I don't like it, I don't like it. I wish I did, but I don't. And I think that's it. Those are my few little drugstore things I wish I liked, but I just, don't. Uh, let me know some current drugstore fails that you have had in your life recently. I would love to know what they are. Um, I hope I'm not getting sick. I want to continue drugstore month uh, feeling good. But anyway, thanks for watching this video and I will see you tomorrow with another one. Bye.